Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I want to show you a new data pack that I wrote for Minecraft 1.14. This adds undo and redo functionality to Minecraft. To bring up the interface, you type slash reload. This only works in single player and you have to have, you know, op privileges if you're on a server. But uh, if I hit undo, you'll see that the blocks disappear in the order that I place them. I can redo if I want to undo the undo. Uh, I can undo five blocks at a time and redo five blocks at a time. And uh, so before I started the video, I built this house over here. And so if I continue undoing, it will undo all the things that I did in the house. Um, and we can see it goes one block at a time. I can do five blocks at a time to go a bit quicker. Let's do undo 25, undo 100, and uh, I can redo all of that very quickly. Just undo the house, redo the house. This is, by the way, the squid ink is how I discovered the, uh, these are the squid ink particles. This is how I discovered the uh, properties of squid ink particles with regards to the limbo video that I put out yesterday. You can see, you can see the, uh, anyway, you can see the area in the background kind of looks like the limbo thing. Anyway, so um, this is, this has some other cool things you can do. Like for instance, if I like break this uh, nether portal, I can undo one block at a time to fix it. Uh, let me grab some TNT and some flint and steel, and let's blow up some of the ground. I'll explain how this works because it's it's actually kind of important uh, how it works specifically, because um, there are some limitations. So blow it up, TNT, you can undo and put those blocks right back, uh, undo 25, whatever, and there's the TNT that we blew up too. So. The way that it works is there is a cube centered on me. It's a me. Um, it's 13 blocks in each dimension. So it's a 13 diameter cube and uh, and it's tracking every block around me for and it's looking for changes. And so when it sees a change, it records that change and stores it somewhere. And uh, so that you can click undo and redo and it'll know what the changes were. When it undoes some changes, it will um, put those into like a queue to be redone if you want to do that. If you place a block, it'll delete any anything that was in the queue to be redone, which is the same thing how undo and redo works in like text or whatever. Um, but it won't delete all the undo history. So if I keep undoing, we'll see, uh, we'll see it goes back to undoing the house. And, uh, and all that. So so it keeps your undo history up to, I think it's 10,000 blocks changed. So it goes pretty far back. There's a barrier block here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, that's basically, that's most of what there is to it. So again, it will only track changes within that cube, that 13 by 13 by 13 cube around you. So if you like do this and then fly away, that's outside of that cube. So if I try and undo that, it's not going to undo that. It's going to undo this other stuff over here. Um, and then all those blocks that I just placed and the house and everything. So <clears throat> yeah, I think it's really cool though to be able to just undo a bunch of blocks all at once, redo them <laughs> right up, right like that. Uh, if you do want to clear your undo history and kind of create a restore point, say you're about to start building something, but you might want to, you know, delete it. You can click clear undo history and it'll clear that for you. Now, if I click undo, it doesn't do anything, but uh, and I can start you know, building my pink heart. And if I decide I don't actually want that, then I can, I can just undo 100 and we'll poof. Now let's bring it back. Okay. Anyway, if you want to download this and try it out for yourself, uh, there's a link in the video description. Like I said, it only works in single player or if there's only one person on the server and you have to have op privileges as well. Um, but uh, otherwise, it you know, works just about as shown. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys find it useful or interesting. That's about it. Thanks for watching.